In episode 5 of the Daryl Dixon show, it showed how exactly Daryl washed up in France. And he gets taken to this camp, and he manages to use their radio to communicate with Carol at the Commonwealth. Something that really caught me off guard is it starts cutting out and she says... Daryl. Yeah. Who came back? Carol. Who came back? Carol? So in this video, we will figure out exactly who she's talking about. I'm gonna go through who it could be, who it can't be, and who I actually think it is. And why Carol actually sounded a bit sad. Before we get into it, I wanna give a quick thank you to Incogni for sponsoring today's video. Your personal data is being sold online without you even knowing about it. I know how some of you like to click on dodgy links on your phones and your PCs. There's so much stuff on the internet where you're just exchanging data without even knowing about it. There are thousands of data data brokers aggregating your personal info and selling it to unknown businesses to be used as they please. Do you ever get loads of junk mail in your real life mailbox or on your email? You know when you see those headlines of big companies that have had big data leaks, you don't realise that you've actually been affected by it. It happened to millions of Sony systems recently, so your PlayStation account with all your info in it could be breached and until now there was no way to even find out. Now your data is accessed by doing the simplest most innocent of things you might have signed up for a store's free newsletter or register for a store's loyalty card and a few days after started getting spam in your mailbox and calls to your phone. You might look up something and all of a sudden start seeing ads and promotions about it from services you've never even visited. The good news is you have the right to request data brokers to delete what information they have about you and protect your privacy. The bad news is it would take you years to do it manually. So Incogni do the messy work for you automatically. They help protect your privacy and take your personal data off the market by reaching out to data brokers on your behalf, requesting your personal data removal and dealing with their objections. And the whole process is automated, so get an account and they sort it out for you. Click the link in the description or the pinned comment immediately because the first 100 people to click it and use code George Drake will get 60% off in Cogni. Get it and be safe. Episode 5 was actually really, really good. My opinion of this direct show and Dead City is that they've been pretty mediocre, not bad by any means, but I think Dead City just doesn't interest me at all, and Daryl has been about the same level for me, I just haven't really been overwhelmed by it, but I've enjoyed it, I like the feel of the show. This episode is by far the best one of any of the spin-offs. It had its bad, awkward moments, I'm not quite sure why Daryl got that angry, that's the most noise he's made in about six years. Did you do this? Hmm. Why would you do this? Why? Stupid little sh Do you know what you've done? <laughs> you think you're so goddamn smart. Worthless! I should have left you right where I found you. What do I do with you now? Why? Tell me why! I didn't mean it this camp was the heart of the episode, that's where this carol scene happened. So all of these people have been told that if they gather walkers and bring them in, they will be rewarded and for Daryl that was fuel. So they do it but at the end they are brought onto this ship with them. This ship and the other French people are a faction that collect and experiment on zombies, no doubt selling these different zombies as weapons. Again, pretty much what Jadis did. This is the thing that connects it all, don't think for a second, that even if all these people get wiped out, that they weren't trading, they very clearly were. And it is the most terrifying, darkest thing The Walking Dead has done in a long time, I loved it. Even Discount Kenny over here, I loved him. He was an awful guy obviously, but I kind of wanted him to live. Oh, yeah! You think I look like a fast reader? It's not often in The Walking Dead you see people with such character, but as I thought he would then be used as the ultimate subject to show that fast walker flips him over, tears him apart, and like we've already seen, like I discussed in my last video, Daryl hits it and it doesn't do anything like it would a normal zombie. Now these French zombies are likely a bit different to this French zombie, because these are man-made ones, you know I like to call them man-made zombies and environmental ones. That one seemed more to do with what happened at the outbreak, this one seemed more Nickelodeon wired up. 
deep injected really cool ending scene as well so who do i think carol is talking about they came back well let's go through them the first thing i thought was it's the crm they've come back again those weird people we spoke to who want to join up with us they came back again and remember carol is in lance's position so she of all people is the character that will know something about that and it would be something that she's seen off screen especially with the music it was quite haunting Zero. yeah back. who came back it was not like some light piano tune of hope talking about Rick. It was quite scary and the whole call, she was a bit off. Now when you think of a character or characters returning, most people upon seeing this, the first thing you think of is Rick and Michonne. And it actually sounds like she says Rick. Yeah. Now, if it was definitely Rick and Michonne, the fact that Daryl has even left in the first place to go and find Rick, I think it's surely something she would have just said to him immediately on the call. Now, obviously, it's a TV show. It could be Rick and Michonne. They just wouldn't have Carol say it. Now, again, with the tone of the call, she did feel a bit off, a bit slow to talk quiet like the reason she didn't immediately bring up that someone or some people have come back is because this return is bittersweet like daryl there's something i should tell you they came back like she didn't want to tell him at first as if it's something he didn't want to hear while being away from home i think the least likely is negan and maggie at the time that daryl left negan had been gone for a while but maggie would still be at hilltop so Daryl wouldn't really know they've gone yet. Dead City is set five years after the main show ended, so I don't think it's them at all. Now the most likely is Morgan Jones, and probably Dwight. Now even though Morgan left way before, we see Dwight and Sherry at the sanctuary in one of the trailers, so they did go back. So I wouldn't be surprised if what she's talking about is Morgan and Mo have turned up, and shortly after that, or maybe even at the same time, Dwight and the rest of the Fear cast arrived too. This is why Fear had that six year time jump to very obviously catch up to the main show, especially with the next six episodes of Fear, the final ones. The last episode of Fear is called The Road Ahead, so I think they will inevitably end up at Alexandria. And it makes sense because this is why Carol wouldn't have wanted to immediately tell Daryl, you know that guy that you didn't want back and said you'd kill him when he came back? Yeah, he's here. You, you know, it's not something she would spring up to tell Daryl. Would you ever come back here again? I ever see your face around here again? I'll kill you. And Daryl and Morgan did know each other, I, I think, quite well. It's not like they were really close and best friends. It makes so much sense that she'd bring this up a bit later into the call. I do think with Rick and or Michonne, there would be a sense of urgency about it. The final six episodes of Fear literally air straight after Daryl. One week after episode six, they start. So I think it will very nicely answer that, even if it's not directly with them arriving at Alexandria in the last episode. I do think it sets it up quite nicely. But what do you think? What did you think of this episode? Have you enjoyed the Daryl show as a whole? And who do you think Carol's talking about? Make sure you let me know what you think down below. And on the top right of your screen right about now, there will be a pop-up to my last video where I go more in depth on these fast walkers and the difference between this one and that other one we saw in France. Press the like button on the video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you're new. Thank you for watching. I'll see you soon. Yeah.